Hello there, I'm Mabel Jong and you're watching the World Healthcare Congress Interview Zone and I have with me now Jay Knox Singleton, who is Chief Executive Officer at Aniva Innova Health Hello. System. Now, Mr. Singleton, Innova is one of the nation's most integrated and wired healthcare delivery systems and one of the largest in the metropolitan Washington region. Having that distinction, or do you, is Innova positioned to be able to navigate the change in the sector um, better than perhaps other systems? I think so. We've, we've spent a lot of time trying to think of the ideal positioning for the future, and strategic positioning, I think, is going to be one of the key success factors in terms of surviving all this change. Mm -hmm. We're really positioned around our vision 2015 for the future, and and uh, a focus on population health management, reinventing our health services, and developing premium brands. That's, uh, I think that's gonna be a, a very successful approach, uh, uh, but the future will tell. Yes, now what other systems um, are there now that perhaps don't have as much as Innova, and what do you think they need to, to do to really get up to speed with the changes that are coming about? I think when you look at the when you look at the healthcare delivery sector today, unfortunately, you see most players who do not at this point have either the population health management infrastructure that they need, or are not as far uh, down the road in terms of restructuring the their cost and quality and their whole value equation for their services. Mm -hmm. uh, both of those things don't happen overnight and I see a lot of other a lot of other participants in healthcare who are really getting where they need to be a lot slower than 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 they should. Mm -hmm. I had mentioned that you Innova is one of the most wired healthcare delivery systems operating today. What does that mean? What do, how wired are you? Well, we're, we're, we're about as wired, I think, on, on the HEM scale. We're six out of seven, and by the fall, we will be at the top of the scale, which is less than 6% of all health systems uh, meet that standard. So we're pretty wired. I think being wired is going to be one of the real essentials for success because Improving clinical processes, building integrated data systems that you can I inquire uh, about clinical process effectiveness uh, is really going to be the, the mother's milk of those systems that leap ahead in terms of quality and service and cost. And um, we think we're positioned because of that IT infrastructure to do well in that race. Okay. You are also the author of a book uh, called Sustainability for Healthcare Management, a Leadership Imperative. What was your message in the book? The book really speaks to what I believe is the growing realization that uh, two things. One is that the mission of improving health and the health of the planet and the health of our communities is really the same mission that's really folding together. Into, into a single focus. When you think about it, uh, healthcare systems have been looking to return individuals to good health, to promote good health after they leave the hospital. And at the same time, the whole environmental movement has been about cleaning up drinking water so people mm -hmm. don't get sick, mm -hmm. cleaning up the air so that those with pulmonary problems don't suffer cleaning up the food supply so that antibiotics and, and other trace chemicals don't make people sick. It, they're both really about improving health and that's one of the key premises in the book. The second is that, that everyone needs a strategy, whether it's about the environment or in healthcare, about creating sustainable solutions. And sustainability really is as applicable a principle internally within the health system as it is externally. And the book talks about how do you accomplish that? How, in terms of being a leader, do you translate those two truths into a leadership style and a strategy for the organization that accelerates your progress toward your business goals? Um, we've, it's been well received so far. Yes, so, it uh, sounds I'm, very uh, I'm, uh, It very seems self-evident to me, but uh, not everybody's seen it yet. And what is, what is one key leadership trait 
do you think that really would forward this agenda? Well, a perfect example, I think, is that all health systems today really are seeking to attract and retain the brightest and be best health professionals. Young millennials and really everybody under 40 have a huge affinity for organizations. They want to work for and stay with organizations who take environmental responsibility seriously. So one of the strategies for ensuring that you get the brightest and the best young talent coming in the organization is to be an environmentally <coughs> responsible employer and to engage those employees in your environmental sustainability mission. We found that's a tremendous strategy in terms of people waiting in line to work for you and then not wanting to leave. Mm -hmm. uh, again, a good strategy that that is good for the environment, it makes, makes a group of people into willing workers around environmental issues, but it's good for the hospital, good for the health system, because we want good, stable, energetic, engaged mm -hmm. employees. Absolutely. Sounds like a win all the way around if you can find the right thing. I really believe right so. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Listen, Mr. Singleton. I enjoyed it very much. Me too. Thank you. And I'm Mabel Jong. Thanks for watching.